I don't know where we are going and what we will be provided and equipped with. I don't know either. Russians all over the country are being mobilized to participate in the war in Ukraine for a week. At the training camp, the Russian commanders promised that they will not send the soldiers to the zone of the so-called special military operation. In fact, it turns out quite differently. As for conscripts, none of them will be sent into the zone of the special military operation. Hello to everyone. The first tank regiment is in touch. We were officially told that there would be no preparation before being sent to the combat zone. The regimental commander officially confirmed this information. On September the 29th, we will be sent to Kherson. The salary like the contract soldiers have and full equipment, these were one of the promises of the Russian commanders. But videos with the real state of situation are increasingly appearing in social networks. This is Vladivostok. Those who were mobilized on the eve of the autumn winter period are given only summer uniforms. And this is the Altai region. Here an instructor is telling the Russian soldiers what they need to have to be prepared for the war in Ukraine, but at their own expense. This all is in you, boys. There is nothing like uniform or armor, anything with regards to the military, for you to be bought by the Russian authorities. We've equipped our men on our own money, and medicine is on you too. Rusty assault rifles, cursed boots, helmets and uniforms from the time of the Second World War. That's all the mobilized men can count on. Instead of the necessary equipment, can scripts are given amulets and crosses. I will give you a cross if anyone needs it. Maybe someone had forgotten it at home. Come on, tell me. What actually awaits those who have been mobilized for the war in Ukraine, they will hear from those who had already got into the war. This Moscow resident was mobilized on September 21st. After six days, the Ukrainian military captured him in the Kharkiv region. I ask freaks like me not to come here. I sincerely regret being here and repent that I did so. How long have you been in Ukraine? I don't know, maybe two weeks. As soon as I got there, I tried to go back to Russia, but they didn't let me go. We've been sent to the forest as a cannon fodder, and they've left us there. I would like Shoigu to see all of this, Shoigu and Konashenkov, to see what is happening. There's a stupid army here. An army that does nothing at all. They only show the alleged strengths of it in films, but in fact, in general, there's chaos in it. In order not to fall under the mobilization, some Russians flee the country, others deliberately mutilate themselves. But if you cannot refuse the forced conscription, you can surrender to captivity in Ukraine, the Ukrainian servicemen say. Then the Russian soldiers will stay alive. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, UATV News.